This episode of Photonics Hot List is sponsored by Metal Arc Optics, where they take on what others won't. Challenge accepted. Hi, I'm Justine Murphy, Senior Editor of Laser Focus World. Let's take a look at some of the exciting things happening in photonics. Procedures including blood tests and biopsies can effectively detect and help diagnose disease, but they're invasive, uncomfortable, time-consuming, and sometimes complicated. A new laser-based device could transform the disease detection process, making it as simple as breathing. Scientists from the University of Colorado Boulder and the National Institute of Standards and Technology have developed a breathalyzer that uses a laser, high reflectivity optical mirrors, a Fourier transform spectrometer, and machine learning to detect COVID-19 with high accuracy in real time. The system involves a gas sensing technique called Cavity Enhanced Direct Frequency Comb Spectroscopy. There are more than a thousand molecular species in exhaled human breath. The comb-based breathalyzer system can detect and determine those contents in a gas sample by collecting molecular signals and tens of thousands of molecular absorption features simultaneously, and with extremely high sensitivity and specificity, traits that conventional methods generally lack. The researchers aim to make the breathalyzer into a handheld or potentially chip-scale device and say it could be used to detect other diseases as well, such as cystic fibrosis, lung cancer, asthma, and diabetes. Coupling quantum dots with optical cavities or waveguides could lay the groundwork for generating and potentially manipulating quantum states of light. A team of researchers from the University of Sydney in Australia, the University of Basel in Switzerland, and Ruhr University Bochum in Germany have made the discovery by measuring the direct time delay between one photon and a pair of bound photons dispersing off a single quantum dot. An optical cavity and single quantum dot medium produced a strong nonlinear response, the researchers say, allowing them to observe the difference between one photon interacting with it rather than two photons. They discovered a slightly longer delay with the one photon compared to interaction with two photons, and also saw two photons become entangled in a bound state. This is the first time so-called exotic photon states have been measured directly. These photon-bound states could potentially be used in quantum-enhanced metrology, which may become more accurate than laser light, and for robust quantum computers. Electro-optic modulators developed at Harvard University's Lab for Nanoscale Optics are poised to surpass conventional visible modulators by controlling shorter wavelengths, those in the visible to near-infrared, or VNIR. The new VNIR devices are crafted using thin-film lithium niobate, an electro-optic material. With a phase modulator, which works when an electric field is applied along one path to light that's traveling in a lithium niobate waveguide, the researchers can control that light's phase very precisely. The amplitude modulator also applies an electric field to light, but that light splits into two paths. One path advances the phase of light, the other delays it. The two paths ultimately recombine, allowing more efficient control of this modulator's light output intensity. The modulators overcome speed and efficiency limits that hinder existing technology. Less than one volt is needed to operate them, and power loss is minimal, allowing the devices to operate at up to 35 gigahertz per second. With such a low drive voltage, the researchers say larger shifts in the color of pulses traveling through light are possible. This could enhance sensing and quantum applications, as well as AR and VR technology and data communications. And that's your Photonics Hot List. Visit laserfocusworld.com for more information and subscribe to our YouTube channel for tons of interesting content. Until next time.